No, welcome, friends, back to Occultus Anonymous. Um, as always, sponsored by Roll20, The Onyx Path, and viewers like you. Thank you to our patrons who are now in an alphabetical order. Uh, Al, Alan Michael, Alex, Alexander, Algos, Badur, Bernie, Blood for the... I can't even read it anymore. Supernal. Uh, Brendan, <laughs> Danny, Doc, Emil, Giovanni, Jack, James, Jenny, John, Josh, Julian, Catfeathers, Melissa, Michael, Moku, Noba, One True Michael, Perry, Puppeteer, Roy Viscrad, Ryan, Schmidt, Sebastian, Seth, Sina, Stefan, Saranus, Terry, The Banty, Thomas, Usuf Sama, Firekeeper, and Zoltan. Uh, thank you guys and gals for your support. It means a lot to us. Um, and, uh, yeah. Ooh, thank you, people, uh, in chat who apparently also waved. Uh, <laughs> to Amanda, who edits our videos. Righto. Um, when we last left the Cabal, they had been, uh, confronted by a, uh, Mammonite, uh, named Tilly, uh, saying, hey, um, we need to come Mammonite. to an arrangement about territory and who runs these streets and you know if you guys just sign on this dotted line here saying that you work for us uh everything will be fine uh to which weird and atratus said mm, probably not but we're gonna have to con con consult with our our third main member songbird who also said that's not happening that's not happening that's not happening thrice <laughs> yeah, thrice not she happening. denied him uh or denied her i guess technically anyways uh, and the Concilium Council was called forth, uh, who also agreed, yeah, that's probably not happening, and basically tried to figure out, okay, what is the next play? Where do we go from here? Um, and, of course... I just want to put a bit of a spin on that. The Council said, basically, that's not happening, but you're on your own, is pretty much what they said. Uh, I mean, they made overtures and offers <laughs> of assistance. Weird, however, said, whoa, dude. Sun in winter doesn't really have our back. <laughs> Which is not necessarily mutually exclusive. Uh, <laughs> let's be clear. Um, and then uh, Weird had the brilliant idea of, well, why don't we just call somebody in the Ministry of Mammon? Uh, which took uh, three different phone calls, but eventually uh, landed somebody named Heidi, who said... It was two, right? The second one, you just kept talking at them until he found someone and gave the phone to them. Mm -hmm. uh, it was call, call, new spell and call, uh, who was then passed over uh, to Heidi, who said, here, is the, here are the digits, call me tomorrow. Uh, and so Weird hangs up the phone, uh, and that's where we pick up. So I just want to put this out there, that we're masters of our own fate. We don't. You're need, a master. Of <laughs> no, you are. <laughs> to a certain extent, we all are. What I'm getting at is that we don't have to let them pull our puppet strings. Okay. They're going to try and egg us on, and they're going to try and provoke us, and they're going to. This is kind of what they do. We I don't, have don't see a possible way anyone could ever provoke me. I am a master of my emotions. <laughs> How many dots of mine do you have? <laughs> <laughs> the most fierce mm -hmm. abrimos you will ever meet mm -hmm. speaking of which all right if we're doing a bunch of shit tomorrow everybody come hang out or at least like be in the main ritual space in like three hours so i can touch you uh and everyone being who all I, I usually like dinner and a drink first but that's okay okay weird, weird about it. <laughs> ding 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 <laughs> Uh, yeah, who's going with this? I figured it would just be us. Um, I'm going to need somebody to stay by here in the Sanctum, and I need to know who it is in advance so that I have a warp beacon. No, Rose? Rose should stay here. Rose should definitely stay here. <laughs> That's fine. And, and no um, Titus is staying here. Uh, mm -hmm. Network could come, I guess, but like, do you want to? Uh, network, you know, says, you know, I'll be honest. If if you need me, I can definitely come. But uh, you know, if it becomes a scuffle, like my my experience with you know, yeah, arcane scuffling is is minimal. 
well, we're not there for a scuffle. Right. We're just but, there to confirm information that we want to confirm. And, and and I'm on board and I can maybe even help with that. But yeah, exactly I'm, what I'm thinking. I'm wondering. I'm like, I'm, 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 I'm on board. I mean, they're, you know, this, this Tilly is threatening, you know, our folks, my folks. So I, I kind of want to be there, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I. Why don't you come with us when we meet Tilly again? Okay. We'll handle this tomorrow morning thing ourselves. That sounds fair. Yeah, because tonight, or in the morning. Yeah, yeah, we're meeting morning, till in the afternoon when we got this other one in the morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whoever you like picked up there. Heidi. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, what is going on? <laughs> we didn't even hear that, but you jumped perfectly timed. <laughs> okay, um, I'm casting Hunting the Form. I will include Rosa Network for the hell of it, because... <laughs> Sorry, there's a commotion going on in the house, apparently. <laughs> uh, with advanced, because you, uh, you have six reach there, so you want to explain yes, that? Yes, I do. Uh, so, um, swapping um, primary factor. Okay. So that I get potency. Because mm -hmm. I don't need it for a month, I need it for a day. So, mm -hmm. it's, dice works, it works out. So, advanced, uh, uh, or sorry, swap and scale. Mm -hmm. um, higher than um, five. Mm-hmm. Split twice. Okay. Advanced scale, advanced duration. Let's see here. Do you have to spend um, reach each no time you split it? Yeah. Cool. Um, no one's touched the hollow in a while, right? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay, I'm going to suck it dry first. Because I don't have much mana. Um, do you want me to roll for that or? No. Okay. Because I mean, you can literally just, just do it. Yeah. No plus poke, prime. Poke, yeah. yeah. Um, okay. So that should be eight that I can grab from the area. Uh, let us it's see. Two dot hollow, so it's two in the aether or two in the area mm -hmm. plus six tasks. Please just sit still for a second. Okay. Um, yeah, Ziggy's loud as fuck, especially at six in the morning when he's hungry for breakfast. Okay, so I have this spell. I have, if I did all the math right, I have nine dice to roll. And I'm overreaching by four. Um, and I have my dedicated magical tool. So that should be six dice of paradox. Overreaching by four is oh right eight okay yeah cool so I'm going to spend uh, three mana so three dice all right just the one cool one bash three blue. successes to resist um, and yeah I am taking. Because we've got our sanctum that raises my gnosis by two effectively for ritual time. Mm -hmm. So I only take 30 minutes per ritual. So I'm taking three hours mm -hmm. to do a full ritual plus five. So I have nine dice for a big old physical buff. Five successes. There you go. I'd like that mana back. Yeah, I figured you would. Sure. So that plus is one, like, right? Plus one. So yeah, four four mana. Wait, no. Excellent. Yeah, four mana back. Yep. Yep. Cool. And um, where and that, is that? Where the where are those buffs going? Yeah, uh, that is gonna be. Sorry, I, that's the one part of the math I didn't actually do yet. Uh, so it's base potency of four plus added seven. Mm -hmm. Um. So let's do five strength. 
Craig Bacon make it a face realizing he's about to become a superhero. Swole. <laughs> no, uh, I'm just contemplating an action that's scaring me a little. Oh. Uh, let's go. What's my math? 11, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, two dexterity and three dexterity and three stamina. Let's do that. All right. So five, three, three. Cool. And everybody, I would suggest just writing that down rather than moving your stats around. Because <laughs> that'll be just a flat three extra sta- uh, health. So that'll be the only thing you actually have to track. Can separately. worry about the boxes if we actually get to that point. Yep. Cool. All right. Can we, like, write this down? Sorry, I can't hear it because the dog, she's finally quiet. (laughs) (laughs) And we'll put it here for the folks at home. All right. Uh, but sorry, the folks on YouTube and Twitch, sorry, podcast folks, we're just putting it in the chat. Um, so yeah, three hours, uh, during which Songbird has asked everybody to hang out, um, and be nearby. Gotta, gotta be there at some point. (laughs) Uh, in the meantime, anybody else doing anything like weird with a (laughs) terrible accent? Uh, I wanted to do augment mine to up our um let's see clash of wills is resolving composure clash of wills is you rolling uh usually gnosis plus, gnosis plus your arcana okay what is because i can up um wits or resolve or intelligence mm-hmm. which of those is most useful yes <laughs> Um, well, since I up, since I upped everyone's decks, if you up everyone everyone's wits, everyone's defense goes up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. generally speaking, that's going to be the your limiter, your lower of your wits or your decks. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I don't okay, think the so. board's ready for smart songbird yet. <laughs> I'm not ready for that yet. <laughs> um, <laughs> the visceral reaction from Craig. Yeah. Okay. Let me work this out then. Sure. Um, this might take a little bit of playing on the top of it. Mm-hmm. Not okay. a problem. While you're putting that together, weird, yeah. Craig, did you What's have... your bad idea? This is a bad idea. So let me see how it looks. I was told never to confront you about bad ideas, so uh, <laughs> what you got? <laughs> What, what what is the spell, Craig? Uh, potency spell. If I'm casting a five dot potency spell, is it? It's still five potency. potency. It's still five potency for me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. You're also not overreaching because you're in your domain. True. That's true. But does not only apply while you're in the domain. Uh, spell effects. As as I, I can load a spell effect in the domain and then carry it out and be fine. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. As long yeah. as the target stays within the domain while you're casting. Casting. While casting. All right. Um, so I'm going to cast Miracle. There you go. Oh, boy. Now that's going to give me five intercessions. Mm-hmm. This is a Fate 5 spell. This is it? a Fate 5 spell. So since this is the first use of it, I'm going to read it for everybody at home. Because... Sure. Like I said, you get to five dots of of Arcana, you start to do dumb shit. Uh, This spell causes events to unfold according to the mage's dictates. The mage uh, receives a number of intercessions equal to potency, which uh, she may use as a reflexive action during the spell's duration. Spending one intercession can change the following, affecting a single subject within sensory range. Increase the number of successes on a roll by one after the dice are rolled. Decrease the number of successes on a roll by one after they are rolled. If this reduces the number of successes to less than zero, a dramatic failure results, causing a or can cause a reasonably likely 
event to happen immediately and conveniently for the mage. Yes, they have no bad wish spells clause in this spell. Uh, an old man suffers a heart attack, a car hits a pedestrian on the sidewalk. And then with additional reach, you can spend willpower, mana, and uh, uh, additional intercessions to cause low probability or the impossible or virtually impossible events. I was just marveling at some of the um, virtually impossible mm -hmm. part. Yep. Do you remember uh, that talk we had about how fate works in the way weird sees it? Oh, no. That's basically what this does. Mm-hmm. All um, right. So you have four reach. What are you spending that four reach on? Well, I've got unlimited reach, but I'm going to do the two for the additional, um, for the lower probability things. The impossible stuff. The virtually impossible, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, I've got uh, advanced scale, advanced duration. And advanced scale? Yeah. Oh, do I need Why? advanced scale? I don't think so. No, I don't. You're right. I was going to say, are it's you just... giving intercessions to everybody? <gasps> Ooh, no. I don't, even, <laughs> I don't, I don't even think it works yes. like that. Hasty songbird with intercessions would be probably not a great idea. Uh, and 100% it does work that way. Yes. Wow. Cool. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, so, yeah, no, I don't need event scale. So just uh, the minus two or the two reach for the low probability events duration. And I think that's it. Cool. Uh, right. And then minus two for duration to make it last for more than just a scene. Uh, cool. Yeah. So go ahead and roll that uh, 10, 8. Yeah. That, the minus nine. two gives me a day. Right. Mm -hmm. nine, nine dice. Mm -hmm. 10. Uh, you are looking at a Tratasis. <laughs> yeah, sure. 17. Yeah, 17 dice. Or, no, 16 dice. Mm. Oh, yeah, no, sorry, 17. Math 17. fail. Yeah, I clearly had the day off. I'll take that dramatic success. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, what are my options again? Uh, additional potency. Bonus step in that. I'll take additional potency, so I'll have six intercessions. Mm -hmm. So it says a reflexive to to do an intercession. Mm -hmm. Can you like spend them all, mm -hmm. like at once, or mm -hmm. so like if Songbird punches someone, where you could go plus six successes, just wipe that guy. Oh no. Uh, no. Okay. Yeah, I can only do it. Yeah, for, for me, it is. Things by one. Yeah, you can affect a roll once. Sure. Okay. I mean, that sounds like the biggest waste of this spell in general <laughs> to like just do that. Yeah. So, but I was just curious. it's one of those like, for oh, somebody's things. casting a spell and they got zero successes. Boop. Because well, all you, you need is the one. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This is. This is why when I always laugh when people are like, fate is OP because they try and work conditions and stuff like that. I'm like, guys, just get five dots and you literally can make whatever you want to happen. So mm -hmm. and Ash is casting. Is this the hone the mind spell? Um, what's it called? Augment mind. Yeah, um, I was going to increase wits. So we would all have a good defense. I'm trying to figure out if I got these numbers right. Um, oh boy. Let's see how. You're going to have a big bonus to wits. Uh, well, I was trying to match the dex bonus we got at least so we could be. To be plus four. Yeah. Um, it's a potency spell, so with... I start with two, right? Because it's, it's a, a three-dot spell and I've got four mind. Start with four because you have four mind. Oh, okay. Um, I don't need minus six and I only need minus two for that to make it equal to the dex bonus we just got. Sure. Okay. Um, duration, I took a minus two, because that's when I take the advanced duration reach, and then another step. Mm, that gives you a day. Um, a day, mm -hmm. yeah. That should be good enough, or do you want it to last longer? Who are you asking? <laughs> Everyone else. Like, will a day cover both our meetings? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, They're all supposed to happen tomorrow. 
Well, yeah, it's a day from right now, though. Mm-hmm. Like, will it run out by the end of the day? Why? 24 hours. So, why are these spells written so differently? They're the same fucking spell. Uh, depends on how you look at it. Your body is burning energy and, you know, needs to be, you know, kept going, but your mind is just your mind and how sharp it is. Okay, no, <laughs> yeah. that's not I the logic for this uh, at all, but okay. I think it's fine. I'll take the minus two for potency instead and keep the duration where it is. Cool. That's, but like, even down to just they have the opposite primary factors. That doesn't make any, okay, <laughs> sure, whatever. Um, yeah, and I don't need any of these yeah. bonus. Regions. The unknowable minds of Dave B and Megan F. Well, Megan F didn't um, work on this. All right, that's fair. 16. I mean, 8 and 8 can, uh, cancel, so you're down to 9. Well, that's not a minus 8, it's only a minus 4. Oh, right. So, 13 then. Only three successes. <laughs> Only three successes. But yeah, on 13 Look dice. Look these does, two yeah. out here with their exceptions. Yeah. So, uh, y'all get plus five wits. Cool. Which will also affect uh, initiative, I think. Let me jump back to that character sheet. Oh, no, that's Dex and Composure. Though you will have an increase in that due to the dexterity increase, but yeah. So, which will increase your defense. All right, and with any good proper <laughs> mage game, three hours have passed, 30 minutes in game, um, and they are both. What, go ahead. Right, I do need to, Um, I had infinite reach, so it doesn't matter, but yeah, the one to put it above your actual... Um, oh yeah, just spend the, max. Spend the one mana. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not a problem. I kind of figured that's what was going on. This is the first time where it's cast a mm-hmm. five dot spell. She's a little freaked out. I feel like a genie, just, you know, without the itty bitty <laughs> like, living space. What the hell am I doing with this level of power? <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. Sleep time. Rest there for lunch with some ammonites, I guess. Mm-hmm. Or breakfast or whatever. We're just supposed to call them first thing in the morning, yeah? Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, so we sleep. So you sleep. All right. Let me see here. Couple things while you sleep. Fun. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. I got to double check. I'm following all the rules. All right. Cool. Uh, Songbird. Roll Gnosis mm-hmm. plus Matter, please, as a clash of wills. Mm-hmm. Okay. Is this for the Sanctum? Oh, no. This is for this is for, me, for my amulet? Okay. Okay. Nope. Fail. I'm so bad. How how am I so bad at this? Clash of Wills, Duration. Da, 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 da. General considerations. Is it is it max out at plus three? Duration goes to plus four. With indefinite. Okay, cool. Oh, or year long. Perfect. All right. Um, right, I'll, I'll leave this to you guys. Um, do you guys want to roll uh, Gnosis 
plus matter for your thombium, or do you want Sungbird to continue rolling Gnosis plus matter? Is it? It is his stats, but you know, is affecting your it's characters. I, I don't have any matter, so <laughs> no, no, it's, well, you're no, still it's, rolling. Oh, okay. You're, you're still rolling eight. Should, it's just on sure. Should roll to save yourself. Yep. It's just I will roll my own because it's the same. Eight. Eight. It was Songbirds. Got one. Okay. And Weird got four. Jesus. Uh, You have to share. (laughs) They're our successes, not just yours. Woof. All right, Ash, re roll. Damn. Okay. Uh, God damn. I, I, I thought, works. I, I thought I had that sewn in the bag. Um, <laughs> Podcast folks, uh, Drew rolled five successes on fourteen dice, and Ash rolled six successes on eight dice. <laughs> so yes, her thomium ban works. Uh, also, uh, how much mana were in all those in the bands? Uh, four. Okay, so deduct one mana, everybody. One. Yep. As some of those. Bands uh, worked. Some did not. Okay, is this one I have the, the 14 dot clash of wills? Hmm? I have, uh, it was five mana. Oh, was it five? Yeah. Well, would it would it have been more dice because it was a longer spell? Mm, no, the thomium says you roll oh, okay. the gnosis plus matter at time of creation because it's not clashing against a spell, it's the item. So I think it's. Right, it, okay. Where it's just a touch different. But yeah, now if you guys had five, then cool. All right. Uh, I thought about doing this off screen, but uh, I feel like this builds the tension a little bit better. So does it mean I didn't get affected by a spell, but they did? That seems to be correct, correct, yes. Cool. Um, just point of order. I have the as a, an attainment. I can reflexively protect myself against anything that's going to change my fate. Mm-hmm. Okay. Same for life for me. Mm-hmm. I also have just... potency five words and signs. Hmm. I have a potency yeah, five has... words and signs on my necklace. Oh, that's true. Mm-hmm. Your Clash Magic of Wills worked. Yeah. <laughs> that's what stand up by. <laughs> that's very true. I had forgotten about that. I'm glad you've I'm uh, twice that. predicted. Yep. All right. Um, all right. And then, yes, everybody else, uh, we're going to do basically the same thing again. Um, you guys are going to be rolling the eight dice and let's see here. This is smaller dice pool. You guys can just start rolling them off and I'm just going to counter them in order. Hey, I got three. Hey, I win. Cool. So people just throwing spells just like all night. (laughs) Not so much all night. Okay, weird also uh, weird loses, and then Ash, same thing. Another mana. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, Ash has got the save sign. Yep. Um, though I will mention just for more meta knowledge, um, nothing happened. Ooh, actually, hang on. You this only like- affected wits. Okay. Cool. Uh, so who actually lost? Only Craig. Um, let me review that attainment and we will see you might be rolling off. Or for having a clash of bills. The four dot fate. Yep. Fate, fate scroll. Dang PDF. Okay, come on. <laughs> All right. Uh, forcibly bound into a magical oath. No. Supernal comp. Bullshit to do something she does not wish to do. Changing destiny. That only applies if you have a destiny. 
Mm-hmm. Well, it's not a capital D destiny. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, that seems a bad use of words since destiny is a thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But, they, but they're, they, they're also through the book, they're careful, like that capital D destiny mm-hmm. refers to the merit. Yeah. yeah. They're what they're trying to do is just like, you know, adjusting somebody's future. Um, uh, let's see here. Um, It does explicitly call it like shrug off psychic control and things like that. Right. And I'm well, you know, we'll 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 lean in your direction. Go ahead and roll uh Gnosis plus fate. This will not subtract a point of mana from your thomium. This will cost you a point of mana though. Uh oh yes. If you well, so wish. Yeah, as part of the roll? attainment. It requires what am I rolling? uh Gnosis, Gnosis plus fate. So ten. Okay. Hmm. Whoa! Jesus. Uh, wait, hang on. Let me reroll that. That should not be eleven dice. That should have been ten. I apologize. Oh, <laughs> sure. That figures. Um, okay. Um, yeah. Um, so um, I'm, I'm okay if you just cut off the last dice that was rolled there. <laughs> yeah, because you got your tens way before. <laughs> I said the first. I'm, I'm fine with it because it, if nothing else, I'm bleeding you of mana, yeah. Uh, yeah. but uh, not heavily. Uh, but notably, because it's a cool thing that Weird has, and I'm not gonna, you know, fight it. Um, notably, um, the Thaumium bands in my head they just shrug off spells. You have no right. idea that it ever happened. However, yeah. Weird in your sleep, your dreams are kind of muddled for a second, and just you're not sure what you do you know but just there's that you know burning of mana through your pattern and all of a sudden your dreams kind of return back to normal okay well i'm aware if any of those effects happened to me or attempted to happen to me right right okay you're still asleep though this is yeah (laughs) you're Mm -hmm. definitely still asleep and this is also why i'm telling you um somebody was messing with your dreams um cool um yeah uh as, as for not right? that you in character would know ash but yeah this all happens one after another not all night um but yes as you all are you know middle of the night some spells were cast upon you um weird is the only one aware that something has happened um because everybody else is just guarded by thomium bands what uh, did the first spell do? You don't know? Is it on me when I wake up? Yeah, because... Oh, no. Both of them got no. that one. At, at the very least, Peripheral Mage Sight's going to be going off, right? Uh, well, not if it's... No, not because Peripheral Mage Sight shows if something is actively happening, which I think is probably why Chris was asking. But no, when you wake up, there's nothing for Songbird to notice. So I don't realize anything happened during the night? You would. And that's, you know, and that's you, fine. You, okay. you had a clash of wills and something was messing with your destiny in some, some form or fashion. Your small D. While you were asleep. Yeah. So Weird is up early. Sure. I'm knocking quietly on people's doors. Hell yeah. What up? So we stirred the pot yesterday and somebody reached out last night. Oh. Okay. And I'll like look down at the bands like, oh, yep, that one. Hmm. Oh, true. Yeah, it should be a quick check. Ah, the battery is low. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> battery's at 50%. <laughs> um, I don't know what it was. I seem to remember troubled dreams that I managed to smooth out, but. All right. But yeah, Sonberg I mean, got both spells. You got the no, first one. I only got the first one. All right, you succeeded on the dream spell. Um, I want to check my connections. There's a spell on me. There's going to be a connection to the caster, right? Not if it's over. Uh, if the no, there's, not, there's no spell if, on this. If the spell is yeah, over, a, you could find a signature Nimbus 
on okay. yourselves if one was left. But yeah, I'm, but I'm thinking if they're if they're maintaining the spell, then that would. It, and would again, there is no not. active spells. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Whatever it was, they did it, and then it sure. ended. Yep. Is there a Nimbus? That's a good question. I don't think so, but I'm going to double check. Mage Knight, the Awakening, Mage Sites. Where is Nimbus? Signature Nimbus. When they use it, it leaves a little wisp of identity on that magic. Can utilize, can recognize. Comes from somebody else. It re offers a bonus to revelation regarding that pattern. For every dot of Gnosis above five, add one die to relevant dice pools. By default, this lasts for one week, however, stuff from afforded by high Gnosis. Okay, so yes. Um, yeah, so there is peripheral, uh, not peripheral, signature Nimbus on signature Nimbus. all four of you, or all three of you. Mm -hmm. So it's still on me, but it didn't work. Mm-hmm. Because you were still the target of it, uh, but if it was shrugged off. Because technically, uh, in the case of like the stuff that you, sh you know, Clash of Wills, the spell still lands. All that mm -hmm. Clash of Wills determines is whether or not wh which spell is having an effect. So, okay. like, even technically, Songbird's um, squeeze on that hallow technically worked, but because losing the Clash of Wills, it wasn't having an effect. So the spell okay. still went off. It was still active. But yeah. It still hit me. It just didn't work. Correct. Um, what does the residual signature numbers look like? Uh, I'm double checking, but I think you actually have to study that. Scrutinize. Mm hmm. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, so yeah, it is part of deep information. Scroll down. There we go. Uh, so yeah, if you want to use your prime, go for it. Um, oh, and let's see here. Capacity. Thanks. Um, cool. Okay. Um, yeah, especially with the exceptional success. Yeah, that's all the opacity, especially for Prime. If it was three or less, it's done. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Reveal. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Um, three successes. Right. Oh, uh, deep information. Um, uh, if awaken magic using a rote, the effect uh, or effects of attainment, signature nimbus. Oh, that's right. You technically could have got it from just surface information uh, if it hadn't been a rote. But in this case, mm. this was rote. Um, so no nimbus on No. Bad. If you had done just surface information, yeah, just yeah. the initial reveal, it would have revealed a rote, uh, which is something I will give you know songbird for free. Is like, oh, yeah, no, there was a rote over this, digging down, finding the signature mm -hmm. Nimbus of um, uh, basically if uh, a smell of like some will hate it. Uh, it, it. It smells like a like dusty old library. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, like you have like the mental image of like the stereotypical like Egyptology like buried into in a corner of a museum just like old books and stuff like that and just disused and just collected and tucked away um kind of stagnant uh spell factors uh obviously no remaining duration uh potency of four um uh also uh Spell factors. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess you would know that it uh, had multiple subjects. 
being cast at advanced scale. Uh, it is tied to uh, space and uh, da, 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 identification. Da, 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 da. Um, yeah. Cool. Multiple subjects. Space spell. For now, though. Mm-hmm. How did they target us? Space sympathetic connections. Yeah, from what? Could have been anything. We're not always Seriously, walking dude. around with uh, with our you know vacuum seal spell up, right? And we have no idea what spell that was. Huh? Uh, no. You know, it was a space spell of sorts. Yeah. Yep. I mean, space cool. was involved for the sympathetic connection, but yeah. we don't know what what's what. I, from from what I'm understanding, we, we we can't really the spell's not really there anymore, so we can't mm-hmm. study the spell. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just know that it was there, and I have the person's nimbus. Right, and you know that the spell was a space spell. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Anyways. Time for a phone call? Yeah. Um, Well, Sam, did you... Because you mentioned you were knocking on doors early, so is this a... You know, what time are, are you making this call? Um, do we still want to be polite and make it because we don't know that this was the person we're speaking That's meeting fair. with this morning? This could be Tilly, it could be Tilly that did that last night, or somebody working with Tilly. So let's wait to a reasonable hour and say eight o'clock. <laughs> a reasonable <laughs> hour, <Ugh>. sure, <laughs> but okay, eight o'clock. Uh, and you guys are making this phone call from the sanctum. Outside the sanctum. Why? Um, just because I don't want to give them a direct line into the sanctum. The sanctum has protection. But we have wards and stuff inside. Yeah. Otherwise, they could just snatch us from the phone call. And you're protected by, you know, the sanctum itself and the rules of sanctums and stuff. All right. To what? As you wish, from within the sanctum. Okay. Um, and it's just the three of you because network yeah. and Rose is definitely not in the meeting. I think you guys made that clear and uh, mm-hmm. you're going to have network chat when when Tilly comes around. But for now, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. It's uh, like 8 a.m. They'll probably be at home. Mm-hmm. All right. Or Titus lives here we've established. <laughs> yep. Uh, He's asleep. Yeah. And Titus probably got up and got out. <laughs> He's like, I'm, I'm not going to be here when you make this call. Um, so uh, you make the call at 8 a.m. on the dot. Uh, mm-hmm. I was like, this is precisely enough time. Um, and uh, the phone rings through um, and you hear that same, you know, very controlled, clipped uh, feminine voice it says, this is Heidi. Hey, Heidi. Did you uh, knock on our windows last night? Supernally speaking. No. Hmm. Sorry, dude. I was wondering. So where are we going to meet? Hmm. Well, I had planned to just do this over a uh, phone call, but if you want to meet face to face, that can be arranged too. I suppose we can do this over a phone call if you're comfortable with that. And look around to, to try to see. Sounds like we're good with the phone sure. call. Put her on speaker. Sure. Okay. And yeah, you, you know, nudge the button, mm-hmm. uh, and it you know switches. And there's the the sound difference on on her end. She says, mm-hmm. "Ah, okay. All of you are here." Yes. Good. I know this Tilly. What else do you want to know? Was she here in an official capacity on behalf of the ministry? No. That's what I thought. Um, I think Does she work for you? Yes. Is she authorized to make deals for you? Uh, 
Let's say sure. Hmm. Hmm. I think that's all we really need to know. <laughs> really? Just wanted to make sure that she was legit. I right. don't want to like mention the offer she made us or the things she was saying. We were concerned that we, you, your organization, and us may have been, somebody might be trying to set us at odds with one another. Set More us at odds? I mean, usual. Do you know what she was offering? I can guess. I didn't bother to ask. You all are a bit beneath me. That's fair. We just wanted to check her credentials. That was all. You don't have a mage that knows Prime? We do. So, rather than using resources at your disposal, you Cretans called me. It seemed the most expedient, right? All right. Well, I've taken notice of you. Thank you. Click. Cool. Objective achieved. No, not at all, actually. No? We wanted to find out if Tilly was legit. No. Getting the attention of whoever this is was not not the plan. Well, that was going to happen the moment we dialed that number. That was a cell phone, right? That was I checked second. with you guys before I dialed the number. I didn't just dial it. Okay. Would like we discuss this? I thought that was clear before we move forward. Yeah. Okay. So we have the intention of someone. Heidi. Yep. High up in the ministry. Um. Where in in Lower Manhattan. <laughs> You don't know that. <laughs> I was that was the point to specify of the spell. that in uh, my spell. I mean, that doesn't necessarily mean she's not high up in the ministry elsewhere also. Oh. Yeah, true. Are we unhappy with this outcome? I don't <laughs> like the I've taken notice of you part. That's fun. Um, I just put that down to standard seer posturing. She already knew who we were before we called. She knew me by name, by shadow name. I mean, sure. So, sure, it sounds intimidating, but these things have a way of working. <laughs> sure, it'll be fine. Sure. Um, cool. So, we're basically going to war with Mammon. Well, we'll see what Tilly has to say, but it's kind of leaning that way. Yeah, that's I mean, fine with me. She gave us her offer, and we're not taking it. But you see, my perspective is that that wasn't an offer. That was um, her attempt to antagonize us. I think she's trying to draw us into a fight. Because that's well, not an offer. She didn't make just an offer. Launch into it. Then we're taking the bait for the fight. I don't have right? eight dots of strength for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, all I. And I'm totally on board with that. I just, my only concern, which we already talked about, was that we're aware of what we're unleashing. They're going to fight dirty. They're going to hit us where it hurts. Cool, man. They're not going to come after just us. And I'm prepared to accept that. As long as we go into this with eyes open. Or eyes just clouded with rage. (laughs) <laughs> Either one. They're all fine. These things have a way of working out, right? <laughs> yes, one way or the other. I mean, I look at it this way, and I realize this isn't going to sit well with everybody, but either we're going to succeed or not, and that's pretty much already decided. <laughs> it's true. It's sort yes. of a binary so thing. Why worry about don't. it? You're either alive or you're dead. It's fine. I mean, it's we don't know the path we're necessarily going to take. over way more than just us by doing this. We are specifically screwing over 
everyone around us. Yeah, well, and that's a decision. And that's a risk making. we're taking. Like, we've, it done seems... we, we've done what we can to notify our allies. What is what is your alternative, Heratratus? I just feel like the you're being very flippant is... towards the fact that this has some very nasty consequences. Just be like, oh, it'll be fine. It's like, will it, though? I mean, it's our I mean if we're going it, for a fight, be fine. we need to fight. But... And I think that's our intention to go into meeting with Tilly. I was just concerned that somebody was trying to draw us into a fight that wasn't necessarily needing to happen. But turns out it is. Sure. So now we know that Tilly is legit. And, and this fight that we're going to is in response to an actual provocation, not somebody trying to play false flag against us. I'll do everything I can to make sure that this cabal comes out on top. Yeah, I'm That's not just concerned my... for the cabal. No, I, and I get that. So as long as we're eyes open that this is going to hurt more than just us, I'm 100% behind you guys. Is there any way we can get out ahead of them, I guess. Like, we've given a heads up to the organizations we've worked with. But just, like, people in general. What if they decide to just go screw the owner of the corner store because they happen to be in our area? I'm pretty sure they're going to bomb Sandwich. Like, uh, Witchcraft. My favorite sandwich shop. Why would they bomb them? Because they know it's my favorite sandwich shop. I'm in there all the time. It's those kind of things that they're going to do. We can't protect everybody. I don't think they're going to bomb we can do, it, though. Well, whatever. Ruin They'll it, raise the rent it, on it until it goes out of business, it, maybe. Whatever they're going to do, they're going to do something to ruin it, I'm pretty sure. So the, the best path we have forward is to brace our allies and proceed as quickly as possible to a resolution. Strike quickly and decisively. Yes. If we do this, then we do this whole hog. Yeah, I'm on board with that. Cool. So what's your plan now? Did Tilly say she was just coming back here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she said she'd be back. Okay. I'm not cool with murdering her in our sanctum. Yeah, we can't do that. Also, just murdering her wouldn't solve the problem. She's one. Well, as girl. she's as she's dying, I'm going to grab every connection she's got, and then we we'll go murder them, and so you on. Mean and so she on. might not have them. She might if not. she's smart or knows a decent mind mage, you can sever Space those. Space, oh, no. Space. Before coming here, yeah, you can sever your connections. That's pretty brutal, though, because uh, mm -hmm. it is lasting. Uh, can you not do it for like duration of the spell? No. Yeah. Okay. And if you've severed those connections, then you've just severed all emotional attachment to that individual as well. Yep. I mean, the ministry so of she'll, not super she'll show language. up here and she'll not give a shit about any of the people that send her here. I don't know that the superiors would necessarily want that to happen. They want her to be afraid of them. For example, you take those connections, she won't be afraid of them anymore. So anyway. there's reasons why they wouldn't necessarily cut all those connections. They might leave connections to flunkies or something, but still we can follow those around. But make no mistake, if we don't accept these terms, then the rookery is going to war. Okay, so what is our counter offer? Yeah, what's our... It's not war. We can give them corridors. We'll mark them off. Or not, as they wish, but we'll give them corridors if they come and go as they please without monitoring by us. We'll mark limits to our territory. We're not going to give them half of our territory, but we'll give them enclaves and safe passage through to their areas. As long as they don't bleed out of their zones, I think we're pretty content to let them do what they're doing. We have been so far. They haven't really messed with us overly much. 
don't really miss this at all until right now. Mm-hmm. Hasn't been a problem until now that it's a problem. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I don't know that they'll take that offer, but yeah, I would definitely be willing to offer that. Yeah. And they'll probably refuse, and then we're at war. Because their terms are unacceptable to us. Yeah, sounds about right. And the Concilium has our back when it comes to mages. So if they start screwing with other mages, that's a problem. Mm -hmm. Our territory, our other allies, that's up to us. So Titus, Rose, not here. Network. You guys on board with this? They are not here. They're not currently. Oh, I thought they were come back by now. Yeah. Okay. I mean, it's as long as you guys have been talking since you yeah. hung up. So okay. So let's do a cabal meeting before Tilly comes. Make sure that everybody is prepared for what's coming. Cool. Sure. I mean, uh, we're kind of the major voices in the cabal, but we're not the only ones. Right. Sure. Uh, unfortunately, Weird can arrange everybody getting back pretty quickly. <laughs> yep. Uh, mm-hmm. And uh, so, yeah, Rose, who feels very out of her depth, is kind of pacing and walking. Uh, Network, you know, finds a you know bench to to sit on. Uh, Titus and Judd are like kind of in the background listening, but, you know, they are not mages. Um, so they're, you know, kind of a little bit withdrawn. Um, yeah. And, you know, you catch them up to speed and, uh, you know, network, network nods and says, yeah. Um, I mean, as far as I care, this is our whole city. So fuck these guys. Cool. Rose is, you know, nervous and (laughs) basically puts forward. She's like, like, gotta hide somewhere. (laughs) Like, uh, sure, but you're small grandma, so it's fine. Yeah, if you want to go, what, what order is she? She hasn't picked one yet. Okay, she, um, she knew the same way network was. Yeah, but we both have Mysterium status, so. yeah, you can go hang out at the Mysterium, you'll be safe there at least. Yeah, actually, if all of you who don't want to be involved here go to the Athenaeum, that's where uh, Judd is. Judd well, yeah. Judd will be there. Mm-hmm. He's here now. He, he, has, he has joined your guys' cabal. So, okay. yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, Judd, Judd is like, yeah, then that'll, I mean, if somebody comes knocking there, any number of mages will catch spells right. and it's heavily, heavily worded. Um, so, yeah, we can, we can lay low, uh, use it as a bomb shelter. Yeah, I like that. It's, we're getting ourselves into a fight that's going to be probably pretty nasty. So, um, you guys gotta, will be safe there. I gotta go visit some people, but I'll be back. Right now. Okay. Well, before we meet with Tilly, for sure. The Lee Theater has my signature numbers all over it. Sure. There's a lot of people. Also, just if to, they've been watching you. Mm-hmm. Oh, for sure. Um, everyone in the theater, everyone in your cult. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the fear of a spray bottle of the gin to the small child. Yes. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so, yeah, uh, Judd, Titus, and Rose <laughs> link arms. Uh, they call an Uber. And they uh, <laughs> they take themselves uh, off to the Athenaeum. Uh, you guys have you know because if if you did that call at eight, because uh, you know twenty four hours, you know uh, it's probably going to put you at like noon one two something like that. So you guys have a couple hours before Tilly's supposed to show up if she's precise to the twenty four hours. So weird heads to the Leaf Theater. Yep. Okay. Um, you know, uh, I almost said Alexander. Lewis Hamilton is there. Leaf Theater yes, players. I was looking for that. Mm-hmm. Hey, uh, Lewis. Hmm? Moira, yes. Hi. What? Hey. You look concerned. Um, 
yeah, there's uh, some stuff's going to be going down for me for a while. And it might end up spilling over into other areas of my life. You in trouble with the IRS? Uh, no. No, nothing like that. I mean, oh. sort of. <laughs> but <laughs> Yeah, kind of. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I just want you to consider that it might be a good time to close the theater for renovations or something. Moira, what kind of trouble are you in? Um, the kind that doesn't negotiate. Listen, I have I haven't asked <laughs> about your financial backing or or where you get your money from or how you know people, uh, but I I can't have you bring in this kind of trouble to. I'm going to do everything I can to keep it away. Believe me, I'm going to do everything I can to keep it away. And I mean, what I mean. What, I mean it, to just close the theater down? For a time. I'm okay. Um, I just consider it a, a recommendation from a trusted friend. Okay, I guess. Um, yeah, I'll I'll look into our finances and I, I guess I can try and uh, send everyone I'm on vacation or something i'm sure that uh people would be willing to contribute to make sure the finances are covered okay yeah um i'll i'll talk with the the the, the players and uh okay why wouldn't you go to the cult first yeah. <laughs> but first this is honestly sketchy as hell because <laughs> It's like, hi, the mob's coming to kill me and also maybe yeah. you. That's what this sounds like. Mm -hmm. Which I'll be honest. <laughs> yes. It's not super wrong. Uh, mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, so as, as for the cult, which don't exactly have like a single like hangout location. Sure, sure. But the Lee Theater is a strong part of it. So I'm going to let my buddies know it's uh time to go to ground take a vacation go for a trip make yourself scarce for a while some stuff's gonna be listen you're out. not gonna be able to travel that much in a few months so uh <laughs> <laughs> um go ahead and roll um hmm. mystery uh, cult influence plus manipulation uh, manipulation. So that's eight dice. One success. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, that's good enough. Yeah, there's, there's, uh, <laughs> the, the group text blows up. Uh, but yeah, you know. We're, well, I wouldn't, because I, it's only influence, so I wouldn't. Right, no, no. Text, I would. No, this is, because I'm sure you didn't send a text. But no. yeah, yes, it's all through Stephen and Christopher. You started Wallace. the rumor, yeah. exactly. Uh, yeah, the group text blows up. There's all all sorts of different rumors and weirdness, and people are like, "Yeah, I'm gonna get out of New York for a little bit. I'm getting out of Manhattan. I'm gonna go visit my mom. I'm gonna take a vacation." You just kind of nudge, drop the right little nuggets of information to the right people. And I'm sure I've probably got five or six different profiles in that group text. Oh yeah, like, like I said, you know, and you know, some direct communication and stuff like that. But yeah, so people are, you know, kind of alerted and off they go. Or at least we'll start to. Not yeah. like everybody suddenly just hops on a plane, but. And then uh, back to the Rookery for our meeting. Okay. Anything from Atratus or Songbird? I think my people are taken care of. Like I've messaged Rebecca told them to chill in the underworld for a bit. Oh, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sylvia's folks. I don't know if they would be targeted. They're outside Manhattan, but. I don't really know what we could do for them, really. Yeah. 
I guess just if financial ruin starts sitting in on your little bar, we'll um cover it. I mean matter and then four, maybe like the IRS does an audit or something yeah. like literally. <laughs> matter four can make money appear. <laughs> yeah, I will lead into gold. I'll be a leprechaun. We'll turn back later, but they don't have to know that. How much does the banana cost? What, ten dollars? <laughs> That show. One of these days, I'm actually going to sit down and watch it. Yeah, and we've warned off our werewolves, told them that shit might be going down to sort of hunker down, be on the watch. Not so much warned off, but warned on. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> be on alert, because uh, we're about to get in a fight. Actually, I guess calling them and confirming that 100% we know what's going to happen right now. Before it was tenuous now it's rude. this is gonna be a fight cool yeah i think you know you probably you know contact alicia or logan uh, logan and stuff, they, they, yeah. they kind of spread the word let jake know let moraine know and <laughs> similar to when uh when network was poking around um they go into you know full-on bunker Shut all the shut everything down. Okay. Lots of yep. extra cars parked in the parking lot. People hanging out, chilling, watching. Spirits agitated. Cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, so uh, with that, you guys set up, and you guys are going to uh, entertain air quote uh, Tilly at the Rookery Building. Or not the Rookery building. Well, I guess Rookery building. Mm-hmm. The Rookery workshop. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so the appointed time shows up eh, a little bit after noon. Um, there's a rap on the door. I'll open it. Cool. Uh, Tilly is there. Uh, who? Well, I, I, at this point, Songbird has seen with the mm-hmm. funky postcognition spell that we did. Uh, yep. And she's all smiles and stuff like that. Ah! Songbird, the missing member of the team. Fabulous. Uh, oh, and of course, Network has set up shop with you guys as well. Because mm-hmm. right. Um, Some tea and cookies. We're being hosts after all. Okay. Uh, well, no, I'm going to make her ask for it. <laughs> Is there anything you'd like to ask for before you walk in the building? Oh, are we going to be formal about this? Then yes. Um, I... Uh, I beseech the Rookery Cabal for hosting hospitality, uh, sanctuary, whatever term you prefer during our meeting. It is granted. Cool. You may enter. Thank you. Um, yeah, she you know walks in, seems to be, well, not seems to be, it is just her. Um, she looks from the three of you over to network, um, says, oh, okay. Just the n- no rose, no rose. Judd, Titus, anybody, anybody hiding out of sight? Yeah, you know an awful lot about us. Of course, I do. We haven't been particularly careful about that. We have no reason to be. No. All right. Well, let's start. Would you like some tea? No, thank you. So let's start this off rather bluntly. I know you all put a whole lot of stock in your O's, your Lex Magica, your formality. If any of you cast a spell, your friends are going to die. And let me be clear. I can tell you have spells prepared and apparently you are going to, she kind of gives you guys a, a look over physically fight me uh, like a bunch of barbarian thugs. That's cute. Um, (laughs) So I want to be clear. This is a negotiation. I hold all the cards and you little shit stains are going to give me what I want or people will start to suffer. About this time, about this time, Songbird, you get a text. Uh-huh. Do you go ahead and you know, phone buzz, oh, but okay. There's a little video message from Ethan. Uh-huh. 
and she kind of looks over. Oh, you can go ahead. And on it, you see, yeah, okay. Uh, you see Ethan. Um, eyes kind of glazed over, doesn't have a, like, focused look. Um, and uh, it's very, like, selfie cam angle, uh, you know, held, held out. Uh, you see his hand, his arm, uh, but then you also see um, his other hand holding a knife to his throat. So, if any of you decide to be funny or anything like that, if you don't give me what I want, Ethan will die. You That's, come here under the rules of sanctuary and you issue threats? I mean, the sanctuary thing is your thing. I came here and you all are apparently ready for a fight. Did you think I was going to show up? With nothing in my quiver, did you think I was going to rely on your hospitality and your sanctuary? You are literally armed. You are prepared to fight me one against four. You think I'm going to show up without something? Well, you weren't exactly negotiating in good faith yesterday. I told you Nor what I wanted it today. And you said, no. I said, make a counter offer. You said, no, I made a counter offer for you. I said, you just signed a piece of paper saying that you work for the Ministry of Mammon and guard Lower Manhattan, we which you said already We are- needed time to discuss it, and we have a oh. counter offer. What is your counter offer? We'll give you corridors, restrict our area, allow you free access up and down those corridors to get into any areas that you wish. But we're not ceding half of our territory to you. Okay, 49%. No. Sorry, I'm making hand motions. Um, She sits (laughs) with her thumbs, and she's just kind of tapping, looking down. I guess I didn't make myself clear. No, you made yourself clear. Maybe we haven't made ourselves clear. That's our counter offer. You can accept it. Or you can walk away in peace. If I walk, that's the last piece you will see. If I walk away from this negotiation table, Ethan dies. And your friend Hamilton? Probably going to have a plane that crash. And then we'll take the leave theater. You think we're not prepared for that? I think you think you are prepared for it. You're standing here. You've literally prepared yourselves with spells to fight me physically. Because somebody reached out to us last night. So you're prepared to die. Do you think you can kill me? It's it's not a question. I mean, it's a credible threat. I've heard about you, Songbird. I know your tally. The paternoster came by for information. You rent sent them packing. Sure did. So, are you prepared to die? To issue these threats and to get what you want? I want to hear you say those words. I'm trying to think how she would put this. So give me a second here. Um, yeah, I, I think I, she pretty bluntly, she says, I'm prepared to die. It's not going to happen, but I am prepared to die. My soul is prepared. I am, I am ready for anything you can throw at me. And if you want to start shit, we can start shit. But as soon as you do, I take Ethan, I take Hamilton, and we start looking at your furry little friends in Rescue One. To be blunt, you've already told us Ethan's dead. I told you. That's what we're working from here. Either we accept your deal or he dies. We're not accepting your deal. So no matter what we do to you, he dies. That's what you've told us. We can write that one off. 
you're going to fucking pay for it. To be clear, and, and most of these out of character, it's if she walks away from the negotiation table. But, yes. Uh, so, um, why now? Why all this interest? Because I've been assigned here. Why all this effort? Well, Heidi didn't assign you to do it. No, no, no. <laughs> Heidi gave me the territory, told me to fix this shit. It's been how long? Nine months? Ten months? That that you have you, sat on your hands? And done oh, nothing. No. No. The previous pylon leader was sitting on her hands, doing nothing. She's now... Well, yeah. I'm in charge now. I've taken over, and I'm going to fix this. I would love to have a proper working relationship with this cabal because you have some talent. You have some skill. Entirely the wrong way, but of course you knew that. You brought to us an offer that you knew that we couldn't possibly accept. (laughs) Sorry, there's something great about you like blowing on your tea. (laughs) And and we're just sipping tea. It's probably pretty pretty in character. Uh, You came to us with an offer you knew in advance we would never accept. Absolutely. It set the ground. You want to give us enclaves? You um, want to give us space? You want to give us avenues in and out of this territory? mm -hmm. How do you propose to ensure that our territory doesn't have a bullseye on it? I explained this last time I was here, but apparently you were too thick to get it. Now look, I may only have one dot of intelligence. Do you want us to offer some sort of protections on our end for your enclaves that we offer you? <clears throat> because as is, the concilium here hasn't been bothering you. You are yeah. not targets. We have <laughs> a map with all of your things on it. Literally. Well, And no one's come for you. Right. You some of them. Because this. we're not going to. Uh, the Kinsley considers mine in our territory. Nothing's happening in Lower Manhattan without our involvement. You keep the peace, keep to your areas, don't bleed over into ours. Then you have a deal. Roll. I guess this is going to be presence plus persuasion. Minus four. Let me know who is rolling. I don't care because you all I out of character have all. said stuff. <laughs> yeah. Or, yeah. But who, who's the one Songbird sending it all? I got this. I'm still doing the roll, but. I think, Songbird has I mean, really good. I think, so, yeah, those. I was going to say, I'm pretty sure this yeah. is the. He's the face. Let him do the I got five, five, five dice after the penalty. I'm going to use a willpower. <sighs> Two successes. <laughs> you will need to be codified. That's Set fine. down in your Lex Magica for your entire concilium to know that you are guarding our territory. This is barely different one from what I first offered, but if this is the... Oh, it's extremely different. This says that you need our protection. Not that we work for We're you. not working for you. She grins, and it is a toothy, fiercest, red dread would be proud kind of grin. Mm-hmm. Uh, but she says... Sure, semantics. If it bothers you. Look, it's semantics or some antics. <laughs> Those wits. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Songbird is at his maximum cleverness. Uh, they're going to be dumb jokes, but they're going to be fast. Yeah. Um, <laughs> If 
Yeah, so she nods and says, if anything happens to any Bamin territory, there needs to be appropriate recompense. Anything related to it, our doing. Oh, I thought you were protecting us. From the concilium, sure. If other seers come after you, I don't see how that's our problem. Yeah. And if anything from the mundane world happens. You should be able to handle that. Yeah. So your protection is paper thin. It's from As us. thin as you would have had our employment contract been. Yeah. Oh, we are terrific employers. You would have had sure. everything that you needed to do. You would have wrung every bit of profit out of our labor, I'm sure. We've seen the means of protection here. <laughs> you will need to register your sanctums <laughs> and locations. Yeah, we will need a list. We will provide access corridors to those. Clearly marked. Hell, I'm yeah. not even concerned about that. Walk around our territory all you want. Yeah. Don't start shit. The rights of sanctuary and safe passage are still in place. Don't start shit. New York is part of America, and you're welcome to walk around wherever you like. It is a free country. Says the Norwegian. <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, we're, we're just going to have to roll. Um, give me the same, same minus four. Three successes. Three successes. Ah, ah. How much more willpower do you have? One. <laughs> <laughs> Drew is not being a dick ST. He's just curious. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, hmm. She starts to pace a little bit. You uh, need to discuss this with your superior. Don't antagonize her. <laughs> Says I'm, making, I'm making the offer as yeah. I sip my tea. Her eyes flick to you and says, as far as this deal is concerned, I'm the alpha and fucking omega. So what's your decision? I'm thinking. I don't know. It'll take 24 hours if you want. She does kind of grin at that. She <laughs> says, hmm, another 24 hours. But you pull the threats from all our friends. You need to provide one of your Silver Ladder associates. For record keeping? Record keeping, writing this in whatever legalese bullshit that your Lex Magica needs to be in. Formalized, recognized by your concilium. Would the counselor of the Obremos qualify for that? I don't know. Are they a Silver Ladder? Silver Ladder are the guardians yeah, of the Lex yes. Magica? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't have brought him up if he wasn't. Okay. Just also pointing out that he's very high ranking in so. spiritual. <sighs> Let's say yes. We'll at least start this process. And just so Sounds we're great. clear. If you have locations or territory that is not registered with us, we are under no responsibility for it. Oh, I understand. Keep your secrets. <laughs> We're going to make them up by the next magic out of it. <laughs> what? <clears throat> Nothing. <clears throat> no, no. Out of stuff. character. What? <laughs> We're we're making. I love it that we're making the seers register their sanctums under the Lex Magic. That's awesome. I love it. I mean, there's a lot of places where the seers do that, mm -hmm. but yeah. 
Uh, it's it's usually places where the seers and the concilium are talking a little bit more uh, mm-hmm. than this weird. Or they're more outnumbered. Mm, also that. Yeah. Uh, Philadelphia. <laughs> um, so. Uh, Make them pay rent. <laughs> Songbird this becomes aggra- a landlord. This deals aggravated. This, this deals aggravated damage to the Memonites. Uh, <laughs> it's their bane. Uh, yes. Call your counselor. I just sort of nod to Songbird and I casually push the thing of cookies over towards Tilly. Yeah. So. yeah, she she looks at them and just like moves away. Like, let, let's Let's remind everybody she has the like yuppie hippie look going on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like she's 100% probably vegan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, she paces. Uh, probably. We've got some flax. We've got some flax muffins if you prefer. Because uh, let's be honest, Titus probably totally does. Uh, Hydromiel picks up. Mm-hmm. Songbird. Hello. Uh, aren't you. Do for yep. a oh okay. Is it? Would you be up for some record keeping, notarizations, that sort of thing? <clears throat> He's like, I have people for that. Uh, he d- or, he does you know, have something. people for that. Um, <laughs> technically, yes, Songbird, I could do this, but if we're doing everything above board, call Borsine. He is one of the Concilium's lictors. Hadromio does not mention sure. that. This is something that you all know. Especially weird. <laughs> and Borsin can arrange everything proper. Mm-hmm. And then just, like, just quickly clicks and, you know, leads you to it. Ring, ring, ring. Fuck. What? (laughs) The Rookery is requesting your services as a lictor. Okay. Various. Yeah. Uh, So, uh, it's two minutes. A while. No, not even that. Uh, Borsin is a Mastigos B. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Uh, And also has some pretty close connections to weird. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah. And Uh, uh, Wait. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's yeah. in her legacy. Yep. For some reason, I had... I was thinking he was Ashes, but no, he's yeah, That's weird. just Q and somebody else. <laughs> uh, Q so, and an amorphous uh, blob, vaguely humanoid. <laughs> yes. Um, a blink and, slate will be filled in when we need a character. <laughs> right. uh, and so, we're seeing... In, hmm? in response to Tilly and Chad and uh, MKB, was, I'll destroy the lives of humans for profit, but eating an egg, that's messed up. <laughs> <laughs> a very common thing um so yes uh or scene shows up at the door and that's where we're going to take a pause uh it is 7 30 and we are moving right along and Mm -hmm. um i'm going to have to take some notes and figure a couple things out I, I, w- I was prepared for shenanigans and I was prepared for these shenanigans. I wasn't prepared for freaking. I got to remember how much fucking dice Songbird has for Prince Plus Persuasion. <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, to be fair, I spent willpower on it. Sure, that's true. It would have been just what? Five, five dice. dice. Just five. Uh, which is still a decent amount. So, uh, Lictor, I barely know her. Ah ha ha. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> So break time. Break time. Uh as always, guys, come join us on Discord, geet into dot space. Come hang out, chat with us. Uh oh. let us know what you think about Tilly, the Mammonite vegan hippie gal. Uh, um, or you know, the fact that Songbird hasn't punched Tilly yet. Um yeah, big big show of uh, restraint. Um and uh yeah. Uh and of course if you want to support us monetarily, that is staylucky.club. That's access to our Patreon. Um yeah. Uh YouTube guys will be back on Friday. Twitch guys back in a minute. Stay lucky.